2D NY, real world HVAC is simplified. In this video, I'm showing you how to navigate and view your call temps using this Carrier Easy controller. Um, this particular refrigerator is made by Federal Industries. So here you can see the little defrost symbol. That's the actual thermistor or temperature sensor on the call. This here is your set point or your main screen. So if you uh, hold that button simultaneously, you hold these two buttons, that shows you your discharge air temp. That's the temperature coming over the top of your refrigerator or cooler or your cooler. Alright, so if you hold simultaneously the defrost button or the manual defrost button, power button. It will uh, show you your, your discharge temperature because there's two thermistors or temperature sensors in here. Um, one is your discharge and one is your call temp. So if we go into your call temp, you hold the set button. And that's your actual temperature set point right there. You keep on holding it. There you go. And you scroll down. Okay, when you see that. So the defrost symbol, you press set. That's your call temperature. Evaporator call temperature, evap call temps, right now as we speak. So that will flash on the screen for a while. Uh, the compressor is currently off. Here is a typical refrigerator made by Federal. Okay, so we are just compressing this back on right now. And you should see that number start dropping. Okay, so both numbers should be dropping. Supply air temperature. This is the air coming over the top of the cooler. This is a reaching cooler, by the way. So the number is dropping because the compressor just turned on. And that symbol there is the compressor on signal, the cooling on signal. Symbol, symbol for the compressor on. So let's go back in and look at our, uh, our coil temperature, our evaporator coil temperature. So let's hold that down for a while. And that's your temperature set point, if that's what you want to do, you'll adjust that there. Alright, so here we go now. Scroll down, here we go. Here's your, here's your evaporator coil temperature.
Okay. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Uh, now, if you want to do a manual, manual defrost, then you just press and hold this button right here. You will just turn the compressor off. Once it starts, uh, the compressor the compressor icon will go away, and this will be steady. This one here doesn't have electric defrost or hot gas defrost. It's just inner over coil defrost. How you would how you would turn this unit off? You press this button here. it there you go okay, it's off but still pending defrost now the set points if you hit reset and you hold it okay now this number goes from two to nine I believe okay now nine is actually the coldest set point and one is the warmest set point now these are in a lot of increments uh, in between the, the uh, nine and the one i believe the range the difference between nine and one is about uh, four degrees you have more difference four or five degrees uh, difference between nine and one okay so set point so we'll select that and just uh, let's go ahead and put it back on it won't start right away because at the time you